skyscraper right there is the capital of North Dakota. Made it last night to our state capital, Bismarck, North Dakota. Well, it's beginning of day two on the adventure here. All pre-flooded and ready to go. And in case you can't tell, in North Dakota, the one constant out here is the wind. <laughs> One of the coolest parts about having a lake is being able to fire up and taxi with the window open. 356 Trav Bismarck Tower, 131011, gust 21, fly runway heading, runway 31, clear for takeoff. And here we are, day two, flying over North Dakota. We are midway between Bismarck and Lakota. I'm on my way up to visit uh, some relatives, my mom, my uh, niece, and a couple of aunts and uncles. So it should be, uh, should be a pretty fun day today. Pretty short flying day, but a pretty fun day. There are lakes everywhere out here in North Dakota. You don't usually think of North Dakota being a big uh, lake area, but just look at all, just look at all the, the little lakes and puddles just even around here. First in amongst all the fields, the hay bales, the cattle. What a truly cool, what a truly cool place. That is a pretty cool little lake down here. I'm going to go and swing down by that for a minute. white caps out there too. Look at the water. You can see the white caps out there. This is, and the wind streaks going across it there. A little bit of a little bit of rain today. One of the interesting things about North Dakota is that there are runways everywhere. All the roads, all the fields. They make this amazing patchwork quilt of the country. And even like this gravel road right down below, so there's no fences on it. It's multiple miles long. So there's places to land everywhere.
in the metropolis of Lakota, North Dakota. Now they can just find the runway. Lakota traffic, seaplane, 93 pop, but there's the final 3-3, Lakota. All right, well, good morning, everyone. We're on to day three of our adventure. A uh, very short hop right now from Lakota. Had a very fun day yesterday in Lakota. I uh, got to hang out with family for a little bit. They met me at the airport, which was super cool. And then we got to see a, a production of the uh, Fort Taunton uh, Little Country Theater. It was amazing, Rock of Ages. made for a great uh, a great way to spend some time with family. I'm making a short trip over to the uh, family farm for uh, a little family get together before we uh, hit the road for a, uh, a long flight. Hopefully they can make it to uh, uh, Rockford, Illinois tonight. So that's the plan for right now. Our ground speed is nowhere near as good today as it was yesterday and the day before. We're pushing a headwind, so I'm doing about... So we're down about 94 knots today, so um, gratefully I'm not going this way very long. If we're going 1,000 miles at 90 knots, it's going to take a long, long time, so... Luckily, I'm going with the wind uh, after this uh, little uh, little jog down here to the farm. Alrighty, well, I found. I'm doing a little bit of IFR work trying to get to my family farm. I am following a railroad and the highway over there because my uncle's little runway isn't exactly an international airport. But that is Sutton, North Dakota. At least I hope. And that would put my family's farm two miles out this way.
a wrap on day three. Until next time, thanks for being my wingman.